What's up guys, Jeff here with Brackish Coast and the Brackish Fly. If you're watching on the Brackish Fly, welcome to the brand new channel. It's gonna be all about fly fishing. If you're watching on the Brack on Brackish Coast, if you like fly fishing, go check out the Brackish Fly. It's my brand new channel, all about fly fishing, fly tying, fly adventures, me learning how to fly fish. So that is my brand new channel. It's called the Brackish Fly. I'm gonna put a link, boom, 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 up here in that corner. So. Get on it, check it out, and see what you think. Now, today we're gonna be reviewing one of the ultimate fly fishing kayaks to hit the market in recent years. And not only is it a brand new kayak, it is an updated version of an already amazing kayak, the Vibe Maverick. And you can check out my video of that on the Brackish Coast channel. Uh, done it several years ago. That kayak's been out for a while. I've done a ton of videos in that kayak. It is a sight fishing, marsh fishing machine. It's a great kayak. I loved it. I had two of them. They served me well through 2017 and 2018. I think that was years, maybe just 2018 and 2019. I don't remember the years, but they were great kayaks and I loved them. And I'm super excited about the brand new updated version called the Vibe Boom. Cubera 120. Now, excuse the work truck. I'm a working man. I got my own business. So my work truck's dirty. I got my excavator bucket. There's my excavator. Yeah. And anyway, it's on my truck because my stands are at my shop. And I couldn't wait to do this video. I wanted to do it before I got it fishy. And it ain't gonna take long to do that. So let's start with this kayak and what is super cool about it. First off, it is a stand-up paddleboard kayak hybrid what in the world does that mean well basically it's rotor molded just like a kayak but it's got a flat deck like a stand-up paddle board and you ain't gonna be able to get hung up there's you gotta watch out for the sides now that's that's another thing okay so first off let's run through a few of the specs of this kayak on the spec card and then we'll go bow to stern talking about every feature First off, this kayak comes in the Cubera 120. All of Vibe Kayaks, those numbers is the feet and inches. So this foot, or this kayak is 12 foot, zero inches. 12 foot, boom, it's right there. Now the width on this kayak is 33 and a half inches, which is plenty wide. This is a super stable boat, or well, at least the Maverick was, and I'm sure this one definitely is up to the same standard. And the weight is 72 pounds. Coming in a little bit heavy as far as what it is, but there's a really good reason for that and we'll get to it in just a second. And the capacity of this boat is 475 pounds. It'll hold a lot. Now let's talk about why this thing weighs so much. It is because it is roto molded and foam injected. So literally you can cut this sucker up with a skill saw, which I'm not gonna do, and it'll float. So here is the injection port right here, boom. They foam inject this whole kayak. It's completely full of floating foam injection. Here's one of the relief ports. And yeah, this sucker floats. It'll float if there's a hole in it. Don't have to worry about getting scuffs or scuffing through it or scratching through it. It's gonna float regardless. So, and that is why it has a no flex solid deck. It's because of that foam insert, solid. See, and I mean, I know I'm on a flatbed, but come on, that's that's super solid. You're not seeing any of that move. If you are seeing any of it move, it's the deck pad. So let's go from the front. Here we go. These new Phantom Grip handles that came out in 2019. Those suckers are much more comfortable than the original handles. Great, they're big, you can get a good grip on them. Easy to get to. Um, not much has changed with the up front cargo area. Got a bungee, of course. Boom track mounting this is top loading um top loading track this right here is a little bit different than the other look it's got a raised lip that the maverick didn't have that was one of the issues with the maverick was when water got on this deck it would get in here this one it's a little bit raised up you're not gonna have that problem it's also got the eight inch v-wave deck hatch uh, and there's a you know kayak color in there Okay, I'm trying to do this fast and I'm getting you know, messed. Okay, anyway, that is the Vibe 
V Wave deck plate hatch, deck plate hatch. What it is actually called the eight inch sealed V Wave deck plate with cargo bin. Boom, that's it right there. All right, now these gear tracks all top loading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Track mounted accessory, people. This is a dream. You have got a ton of track on this boat, including this. Now, this is actually for the seat. We'll get to it later, but you could use it if you wanted to. All right, so two side paddle parks. You just set your paddle right there and squeeze it over the top. And this, two more phantom handles on the side. There and there. Oh, this is cool. Boom, the briefcase carrying handle. I guess you could call it that. Throw it under your arm, like, uh, see if I can do this, holding the camera, like that. Insert. Maybe we'll do a shot of that in just a second. Okay, insert shot of me briefcase toting the Vibe Cubera 120 here. That's pretty cool, huh? Magic of editing. Okay, so we got some cooler or accessory tie down points. Got these little D rings, you can tie on whatever you want to. You can move this bungee, whatever you want to do here. It is your boat, customize it how you want to. Uh, water drain off right here. And uh, let's come on back. Now, this is a great feature that I'm super excited about. These are actually track mounted. These accessory tie off or bungee tie off points are, are track mounted. Now, you gotta have a screwdriver to get them undone and move them. But that is a great addition and a super cool new upgrade for this boat. If you remember on the Maverick, the original Maverick, they were just there and they're just on the hull. Um, now this is the cooler clips. Put your Vibe cooler or whatever cooler and this goes on the side. I got a cooler in the back. I should have brought it to do this. So insert clip of cooler being mounted the way it's supposed to here. Magic of editing. Good stuff, right? Yeah. Editing. All right. So moving right on back here. Right here we got another Vibe Phantom grip. And for all you folks that are wondering, that's where the serial number is located, right there. If you look at the kayak, boom, there's the serial number. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is really cool. A power pole mounting system right here. This has got bolts and nuts all the way through the kayak, molded in, ready to go for a power pole mount. Now, if you're ingenious, or in, no, I said that wrong. If you're if you're something, I don't know, you can probably mount a trolling motor back here or any number of accessories right back here using these bolts and nuts. Let's get that done. So that's pretty cool. Excited about that little system there. All right, so another thing with this kayak, and I'm definitely scratching mine up, is a new keel system. So before on the Maverick, all we had was one plate and I, see, I've already scratched mine up. Look, look at that. I've been dragging it across the across my pavement. But it's okay. It's foam filled. It's not going to worry about it. But now we have two drag plates here and here, which is super, super cool because those are replaceable and you can replace them. Now, the hull for the most part is pretty much the same, a little bit different instead of the one major, you know, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Thing going down the middle. I'm I don't know. I can't. I can't get the term in my head right now. It's it's crazy. You can't think of stuff when you're on camera. It makes no sense, right? Now we got two skegs. Maybe I, I don't know. Whatever. This place. You you get what I'm saying. But anyway, and this is super cool. This deck matting is all the way front to back on this kayak to provide all day comfort, standing up, barefoot, flip flops, whatever you wanna wear, boat shoes, sandals, cowboy boots, work boots, Uggs, moccasins. Any more shoes that y'all can think of? Shoes. Like, I don't know. Barefoot, did I say barefoot? Yeah. That's how I like to go on this kayak. So anyway, a fly fisherman's dream, this kayak is 
brilliant brilliant so brand new from vibe the vibe cubera 120 conquer more water that's the hashtag we want to see used whenever you get this boat and get out on the water and conquer some adventures we want to see conquer more water hashtag conquer more water so check out vibe kayaks no drama just adventure i love that slogan to see this kayak in action check out more of my videos check out vibe kayaks youtube check out vibekayaks.com to buy yours or even better find a local dealer that's got one or if they don't sell vibe kayaks ask them what the heck their problem is like seriously get them in get some vibe kayaks around these suckers rock we won't get it and all that but anyway there's a really good reason they need vibe kayaks in their shop so see if there's anything else oh yeah there's an angler vibe partnership boom free app to track your catches track your mm, distant neighbor waving to track your uh mileage on the water everything angler boom that's the name of it here's a qr code if you can scan that with your phone i'm just kidding you probably won't be able to do that so whatever oh hey look here's what i was talking about conquer more water that's it right there boom and anyway the rest is just kind of publication on vibe kayaks but anyway check it out vibe q barrel 120 check it out on the vibe website check out wait for more videos here and consider subscribing to the brackish coast no consider subscribing to brackish coast and the brackish fly for more adventures brackish coast is going to be centered more about conventional fishing bait casters spinning rods um that sort of stuff the brackish fly all about fly fishing baby all about fly fishing not just in kayak gonna be wade fishing too gonna be all kind of junk anyway check it out subscribe hit me up later i've been jeff good vibes tight lines let me restart that i've been jeff good vibes tight lines god bless Yes.